Hi Saints, um, I hope this is not going to be a long video. I'm going to try to cut it down to five minutes or less. I wanted to share a testimony with you about someone told me in an email. She lives in Arkansas. She's 32 years old. She has two young kids. Long story short, she was going through financial hardship and things were getting really tight. Her rent, electricity, everything. So long story short, um, she told me in the email what she did. And what she did was something I wouldn't recommend doing. Because when you're desperate and you're vulnerable, that's when Satan will strike you the most and make and tempt you, because he's a tempter, and make you perceive the offer that he's giving you as the only way out, the only option, and he'll make it seem delicious, delectable. He'll make it seem irresistible to you. But there's a way out, and that's Jesus Christ. Um, she told me that she did a ritual at a graveyard, and she sold her soul to the devil for, for financial security. She gave, she filled out a contract, she did a contract on a made of animal skin of a goat. I'm not going to describe the ritual to you, how she did this. I'm not going to get into those specifics. I do know that she said she bought it at some store that sells items for those that practice black magic, the um, white magic, um, Santeria voodoo magic, and, and the like. So she said when she burned the contract, she saw a man in a suit, and then she saw a man in a suit at her bedside. So I told her, and then she said that she wanted to get out of it because apparently it worked. She ended up getting a very good job, a six-figure income. I mean, this kind of job, an HR manager, you have to have at least a master's degree. And she has no degree at all. In fact, she just has a high school diploma. So it's not coincident. I mean, it's not coincidental. I mean, she did the ceremony on November 6th, and she just got the job. Um, November 12th, six days apart. Six, you know, is the devil's number. So she asked me if there was a way out and that she wanted to back out of the deal. And I told her in the Bible, it says, um, what does it gain? First of all, the Lord says, the love of money is the root of all evil. And then it says, what does it gain for a man to gain the world? What, what, is it, what does it profit a man if he gains the world but loses himself his soul, excuse me, in the process. And I also mentioned that Jesus Christ was tempted by the devil. The devil tried to get Jesus Christ to sell himself to him. And Jesus Christ resisted the devil in the desert. Jesus Christ was at his most vulnerable, most weakest, because he was fasting for 40 days. But Jesus Christ still managed to um, resist the devil. So Jesus Christ was weak in the flesh, but he was strong in the spirit. So Satan will get you at your most vulnerable part when you are weak in the flesh, the spirit, and in your mind. You have to be strong in Jesus Christ. So I explained that to her in an email, and I told her that the word says that um, all souls belong to the Lord. All souls go back to the Lord um, when you die. All souls return are returned to Jesus Christ. They return to the dust from whence they came. So either you're going to wake up in heaven when you die, you wake up in heaven or hell. Either way, either one, because judgment's going to be that immediate. So anyway, um, I also told her that it's blasphemy because her soul is not hers to sell. It is not hers to negotiate with. God, who is Jesus Christ, brought his, brought our souls. He paid for our souls with his blood on the cross. They are the souls of our souls belong to Jesus Christ. So if you try to turn around, sorry guys, and sell your soul to the devil, it's like you're, you're, you're um, spitting on the face of the Most High God. It's like you're, you're saying to God, who, crucif who was crucified and died for our sins, for our souls, save us from sin, 
that what he did was nothing. It is utter blasphemy, I told her. I said, you know, there is no way out. Now, you will hear, ladies and gentlemen, false prophet demons say, oh, you can repent from selling your soul to the devil. It's not that simple. That is false. Because when people sell their soul to the devil, they know what they're doing. You know, they made the conscious decision to sell their soul to the devil knowing it is wrong. Knowing it is wrong. And what does Hebrews 10.26 say? If you commit a sin after having the knowledge of that sin, if you commit a sin still out of ignorance, no, um, yeah, out of ignorance. In other words, if you was aware of the sin you were committing, that it was wrong and you do it anyway and you're conscious of it, you made a conscious decision to commit that sin, there is no sacrificial blood left to wash the sin away. God did not die on the cross for man to keep sinning because they want to. For man to keep sinning out of pure arrogance. For man to keep sinning out of ignorance. In other words, you was aware of the sin you were committing, but you did it anyway. So when these people make a decision to sell their soul to the devil, they know that it is wrong, but they do it anyway. Yes, they're desperate, but they know what they're doing. Come on, is wrong. You have to know in your heart of hearts that if you are going through such a bad time, that selling your soul to the devil is not the option, that it is wrong. So rather than wait on the Lord to help, they want a quick fix and then they go to the devil to sell their soul for a certain amount of time. She told me her contract was six years. So I said, what's going to happen when the six years is up? I explained, what I'm explaining to you, I'm explaining to her that there's no way out. Once you do this, it's blasphemy. Then that soul rightfully belongs to Satan because that person sold their soul to the Satan. They gave Satan, they gave Satan full access to themselves. When you sell your soul to the devil, you give the devil full access to your spirit, your mind, and your body, and your soul. There's no way out. The blood of the Lamb can defeat anything. But if you commit blasphemy, that's an unforgivable sin. It says it in the Word of God. If you commit a sin like that, making the choice to sell your soul, and you know it is utterly wrong, you are committing blasphemy. And I'm not trying to um, discourage her. I'm not trying to make her feel bad. But I'm just saying that you can't sell your soul to the devil. It is not yours to sell. Only God decides what to do with your soul. Not you, not me. It is not my soul to sell. My soul is not mine to negotiate anything with anybody with because only God has a final say on what the fate of my soul is. So I told her that. So you can't back out of it. You know, every time, every, you know, that these celebrities that sell their souls to the devil, every 10 years or so, on average, their contract is like anywhere from six to 10 years. On that 10th year, if they don't have a sacrifice, that demon that has a bounty on their soul takes them, takes their soul. So if you want to extend your life on this planet, you have to have a hum you have to have a sacrifice, not just any. A lot of these demons don't want an animal sacrifice, they want a human sacrifice. If you wish to stay on the planet another 10 years. And every 10 years you gotta do that until your natural death. And when you natural when you reach your natural death, or however you die. Because you sold your soul to the devil, you're going to hell. You get a temporary fix from Satan. A temporary riches, power, respect. But then when your time up, when your time is up on this earth, you go to hell. And the time goes by quick. The season, life is a season that in the blink of an eye, it is gone. That's why God says that life is a gift. He Gives mankind a gift of life based on well, when Jesus Christ did what he did on the cross. He not only died for our sins, but he gave us a gift of life. Mankind has an appointed time to die. And with whatever time you have left, live it for the glory of God. Don't sell your soul to the devil because that time frame goes by quick and you go to hell eternally. So whatever you going through... Your soul is not worth bargaining with. 
It's not worth what you're going to lose in the end, which is Jesus Christ, heaven, eternal life, riches in heaven, all for what? A few dollars? It's not worth it. I'll tell you something. I would rather be flat broke than lose the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going through trials right now myself. And I have no idea how I'm going to get out of it. But I know one thing. One thing is for certain that Jesus Christ provides. And Jesus Christ will pull me through this. And I know that. But I am never going to curse the Lord. I'm never going to sell myself to the devil. Never going to give my soul to the devil. Because my soul belongs to Jesus Christ. Now this young lady doesn't have a way out. You might agree. You might disagree. That's your problem. My suggestion is to seek the Lord's counsel if what I tell you is true or not. You can't expect Jesus to forgive you if you turn around and you make a conscious decision to sell your soul to the devil. The soul that Jesus Christ died on the cross for. Don't make the choice that she made. There is always a way out. There is always another option. And that option is Jesus Christ. Have faith. Have faith. Look to Jesus for guidance. For your troubles. Let the Lord fight your battles for you. Believe in the Lord. And anything is possible with the Most High.